What's up dudes? Today I have a little story to tell you, but first, I don't know if I've had a chance to thank everyone who came out to SPX and picked up my new comic Arc Dogs, said hello, said they watched these videos. Thank you very much, it means a lot to me. And SPX was so fun. I have a shelf full of books that I'm super excited to read, and I can't wait until next year. Also, I will be at Comics Crossroads Columbus, CXC, at the Columbus, Ohio Metropolitan Library this Saturday and Sunday, the 15th and 16th of October. I'll be at the 1% press table. I'll put a link in the description below with all the details. Come check it out. I'd really love to meet you. All right, story time. So after SPX, my best friend Brandon came into town and visited me for five whole days. Now, when Brandon comes to town, we usually just hang out in the basement, we play video games, we eat pizza, we'll throw on some classic video game soundtracks and play board games deep into the night. But usually, we end up getting a kind of cooped up feeling and we like to go for walks and we'll just walk, we'll explore the neighborhood, get out of the house, it's sort of our way of catching up and reminiscing about the olden days. And you know, once we start thinking about being kids again, especially late at night, we get this this urge to, to do something crazy, to get into trouble, you know, be stupid kids again. So one of the nights, it's, I mean, it's late. It's like, like there's nobody. Everybody in the world is asleep except us. And we're walking through the park near my house just looking around, looking for something to to get into, but there's no there's nothing. There is there's lights, there's grass, even in the playground. You know, somebody took the swings off the playground, so we came and jump off the swings. So we're just walking, talking. We get to this fork in the path. Now we could we could stay on the pavement, stay in the park with the lights, keep on walking through the nice pretty park or we could go off into the darkness onto this gravel path that leads to the unknown. So we went down the gravel path. Path leads right along the Mississippi River and there's no lights. It is pitch black dark. We're in the woods with the river right next to us rushing by and we're just walking. It's dark. It's quiet. Can't hear anything. Kind of a kind of freaked out because if somebody showed up, if somebody popped out, it would be <laughs> it would be scary. All right, we're walking down this path and we we see it. We see the crazy thing we have to do. All right, let me paint you a picture here. We're we're way above the Mississippi River. We're like 30 or 40 feet above the river and there's this bridge that curves off the path and crosses the river. And this is the Mississippi River we're talking about. This thing is wide. It's like, it's like a river and a half. It's like, it's like as wide as the state of Mississippi. And this rickety, old, abandoned railroad bridge curves across it. This thing is like, it's like these these giant planks of rotting wood and there's not even there's not even the rails that the, the the train would sit on it's just random little spikes the 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 nails in the wood that stick up like little dangerous trip wires just like begging you to step on them and fall off the side of this bridge there's no railing there's there's nothing. It's just th these planks of rotting wood. But we knew we had to cross it. I mean, it's like it's it's here. We've we've the path led us right to it. Looked at each other, looked at the bridge, and started walking out onto this thing. Besides being like 30 feet up above this dark, rushing river, besides the the wood being sketchy, this thing is like just wide enough for both of us to to walk across it side by side. It is so dark. We can see the other side because there's a light in the distance. So we can see the other bank of the Mississippi River, but we can't see the middle of the bridge. We can just see where we are and 
where we're going. And we go. We start walking. Brandon whips out his phone and turns the, the flashlight on. So we've got, we've got a flashlight looking down. It's just black. It's darkness underneath. You know, it's the river is just rushing by. And it's, you know, there's, there's alligators and crocodiles and, and um, freshwater sharks and stuff in there. There's no way you would survive if you fell in. <laughs> and so we start taking one step at a time. And man, you know what? I didn't think I would be this scared, but I got real scared. My mom talks about how she's afraid of heights and whenever she gets up to a high place, her, her legs give out, her knees just go weak. And now I know what she's talking about. Walking across these slats, looking down into the darkness, my knees just were not having it. But, you know, by this point, by the time I got really scared, we, had, we were already out on this bridge, you know. This video is called Face Your Fears, so that's what I was gonna do. So Brandon, I think he's scared too, I think, but he's picking up on my fear, and so he starts saying, like, don't worry dude, we got this one step at a time, just focus on the next step. But we're walking, we're doing it, we're, you know, this is, we're, we're having an adventure. We're walking and it feels like, it turn, it feels like we've been walking for years. And, and, and my knees are just, they're just shaking, they're, I'm afraid I'm gonna fall into the Mississippi abyss. And Brian says, okay, okay. Let's stop and let's look up. Let's see how far we've made it. You know, because we, we were just looking down at our feet. There was no, you, you, could, you could only focus on what's right in front of you. It's so dark. So we look up, he shines his light out, and we hadn't even made it halfway. We had made it far enough that it was, would be stupid to turn back. <laughs> what were we doing? I don't know. So we take a breath. We look down again, we start walking, and it's just, it's dark, and you can hear that water running underneath, and the, the, this is when the, the bridge starts curving, right? The weird thing about it is when it curves, the spaces in between the boards start to get further apart. And so it gets to the point where my foot could easily fall through one of the spaces in between these boards. And if my foot could fall through it, I could fall through it. And I could go get eaten by the freshwater sharks in the Mississippi River. So I'm freaking out. Brandon's, Brandon's just, you know, he's trying to stay calm. You know, we got this man, we're over halfway, we can do it, like one step at a time. You know, just psyching us up, like, come on man, we could do it, you just gotta believe. And him saying that, it just clicked with me. It was, it was in, the, in the infinite wisdom of Parappa the Rapper, you just gotta believe. I'm like, yeah man, yeah man, you just gotta believe, and I start rapping. I start rapping. I just, I start rapping. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. And I'm, I'm just rapping. If you wanna test me, I'm sure you'll find. And we're walking to the beat of the rap. The things I'll teach you, I'll show to beat you. Parappa the Rapper, Master Onion, we're just, we're walking across this thing and the fear just drifts away. But nevertheless, you'll get a lesson from teacher. But then, you know what happened next? I got to the end of the song and I didn't know any more words and we're still on this stinking bridge. And the fear, it comes right back. I can feel the darkness, I can feel the sharks, I can feel all of it again. Brandon's like, what do we do now? You know, I, I don't know any more words. Uh, so we we look up and it's there. We're, we're close, we're not there yet, but it's close. And so Brandon's shining his light a little bit forward. We can see the end and I just, there was nothing left to do. I just, I ran. I ran. I, I started jumping over beams. I'm skipping one beam. I'm skipping two beams. I'm growing and I, I, I jump and I land on solid ground. And for a split second, I, 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 
got this pit in my stomach. I said, oh no, I just left my best friend alone on this bridge. Just as the guilt was, was about to take over, I turn and look and then Brandon lands right next to me. As soon as he saw me run and jump, he just started running too. We looked at each other, we high fived yes! We looked back across this bridge, this long, stupid, scary bridge, and we were triumphant. We had faced our fears, we conquered the bridge, we conquered the Mississippi. And then we looked around a little bit, and had to figure out how the heck we were gonna get home because we sure weren't gonna walk back across that stinking bridge. You gotta believe!